What's up, Squires? My name is Joel, and I'm the Backlog Knight, and welcome back to Uncanny Valley. So, as you might recall, we were um, just past the tutorial look around mission, which I basically fucked up because I could have taken the opportunity of having nothing happen to me to visit the entire warehouse instead of chicken it out like a little shit. But I didn't do that. I actually was a bit scared uh, because the game has taught me very, very quickly that I could be murdered very, very fast. Uh, so, doing that. I sweet dodged away from most of the things I could have explored safely, and now I'm going to be very, very stressed out trying to do the same thing in the actual game conditions, which is not so great, but we'll do that. So we're going to get out right now because our shift just started, and Eve apparently says, meet me in the relaxation room tonight, second floor, first door on the left. Okay. Second floor, first door on the left. Um, how is that gonna go? I wonder. So we're on the first floor now, because that's where we live. I don't really want to go back to work out there. You know, it's this thing I've learned to feel, which is... Wait. So this left, but it's locked. Okay not happening anyway so yeah basically when you're trying to that doesn't look like a relaxation room it looks pretty grimy is okay uh-huh right Oh, right, yes, because I did have a little look around in this area. That's true, I have to tell you this. Um, and in that room, the little grimy room, which I just remembered, uh, I, I there was a fat dude sleeping on the couch or bed or whatever, and I think I stole a key from there. But I am on the second floor, on the first door on the left, and I can't get anything done. And here's the key. Oh, it's key. It's, it's Buck's car keys. Oh, Buck's car keys? Wait, didn't mean that I could just fuck off? Hmm. Doesn't seem like something I should be doing, though. Alright, well, she's not on the second... Unless... Hold on, hold on. Let me try something. This is where we found Eve. So, maybe... This place leads somewhere else? Maybe? Oh, I can pick this up? Okay, I guess I just fixed, picked up the uh, extinguisher. Okay, what does this even do? It's, okay, just a big old extinguisher. Sure, that's fine. <clears throat> so as I was saying, um, the little feeling I get when, I, when I'm supposed to be recording something, and when I sit down to do it, I don't really want to do it. Um, Oh man. Right. Dedicated flashlight button. So yeah, when that happens, it's it's Oh, I really hate this 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 uh oh, this fade in effect. Oh my god. Um uh, sorry, I'm super stressed out. Possibly for nothing. So Let's see. Buck's car keys. Car is now unlocked. Cool. Okay. I just used his car to go. Well, I don't want to be here. Wait. Oh, do I have to go down now? Okay, I guess I can't go back now. Cool. Uh-huh. Alright. Sure. I guess I just go here? I don't want to take the metro, though. That's just... Okay. Can I just... Walk back now? No? Oh, I'm tired. Okay. Okay, you get tired. Alright. Fair enough. Alright, let's just try this.
Okay. So I'm in the metro now. My flashlight does nothing. Two dead in horrific car accident. Kvik news. Wait. What is this? What's even going on? I am so confused right now. Okay, so two dead in horrific car accident. Sure. What? And I just got an achievement called Bucket. Okay. Okay, that was... <laughs> How anticlimactic. Okay, fuck this. Let's just... Alright, alright. Let's 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 do this again. And this time, let's not Bucket. <laughs> Actually, this time, since I have a good chance of doing something, and I know how to play this, I'm going to do two things. Well, I'm already tired? Damn, that didn't take... much. Okay. I'm gonna take this. Oh wow, you just stopped me from running when I'm tired. That's cool. Interact with objects. Interacting with objects and moving is really strange. And not very practical. Okay. I live nearby. I should be get- I should get home. Alright. Now this figure is going to find me and start following me on the left here. There you go, creepy little thing. And now I'm going to try and get inside the door. Yeah, okay. Before it catches me and I run to the other ones. There we go. They won't give up. Okay, okay. I need to get to my room. Oh shit! Okay, where's my room? Where's my room? Oh my god. There they are. They're somewhere on the floor. Come on, run, you little bitch. Oh, there we go. Ah, I am in my room. Wait, there I am. Oh, cr okay, so it leads right back here. Can I go here, maybe? Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, okay, eat me up. Oh god. Oh, those creatures are so fucking unsettling, man. I cannot... Wow. Alright, alright. Alright, so we you saw this already. I'm super sorry. I, I somehow accidentally triggered some kind of a very weird... alternate ending, I guess. Uh, and now we're starting up again. But it's gonna go pretty quickly because we've already done this in the past. So, there's that. Uh, and it'll give me an opportunity to actually visit the warehouse properly now that we know that nothing happens during the first time <sighs> you're going through this. Hello, Buck. I stole your car not long ago. <laughs> and, uh, killed myself in a car accident. Wait, how does that work? Okay. So, hey, you must be the new guy. Tom, right? Nice to meet you, I guess. Let's get to the car. It's fucking freezing. I fucking love this line. So, this game is uh, suggested to be played, um, you know, multiple times to see different endings. Sure. I didn't expect I'd find one that quickly. I'm pretty happy that, like, I managed to get, um, that I actually managed to get to my apartment this time and see what the normal path is to run away from the things before they eat you. Um, plus, I only got to, you know, get killed one time only instead of two. So that's good. And now I'm, you know, feeling very familiar, thus calming down because I've seen all this before. So very soon. Oh, hi. I didn't realize Buck and I had company. I'm the new security guard, Tom. Nice to meet you. I apologize if I startled you, says Eve. I'm Eve. 
Um, so what do you do here? I take care of the place, keep it from falling apart. Why would they need this place clean? There's nobody uh, here but us. I'm sure, like asking questions. Okay. I've been getting that a lot lately. Look, I'm sorry, but I have to leave now. I've prepared a room for you. It's on the first floor, seventh room on the left. You'll find the uniform and your gear in the closet. I don't want to, uh, to keep you. Go ahead. Nice meeting you. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, okay. So, that's a thing. So, the directions here, just like last time, were uh, seventh door on the left so this apparently counts as on the left and this is my place and i get the change and now i need to go back and go and do my shift thing which i'm guessing is going to make me still pretty nervous for nothing since we're going to areas i've never gone before um and uh yeah Nothing's gonna happen, except, wait, no, I'm gonna pick this up right now, except that I can pick up the extinguisher right now, there we go, that's done, since I already know I can pick it up, and uh, technically I could take Buck's key again, but I don't see how his car keys would affect me right now, since I'm not gonna buck it anymore. Um, so we're not gonna do that. I also know that there's a cassette that I can pick up on the warehouse first floor. Commodum Apartments. Is that a switch box? I've never been on that side either, so I don't actually know what happens if I go that way. Nothing. That's good to know don't oh so if I run I take away my fucking I don't know if I found that out last time I don't think I have um, anyway so there's a cassette on the first floor of the warehouse which I'm going to go check out this time because last time I found the cassette player and I couldn't play anything because I had nothing this time if I find the cassette and have it ready yeah, let's not go and fuck it anymore. Or, I'm sorry, I should have said bucket anymore. Alright. The sound design in this game does a really marvelous job at making you feel oppressingly alone and uh, not safe. Uh, also means I'm gonna have to go through that. Um, Hold on, hold on. Nothing here. The cassette's right there. There we go. We have a cassette now. There shouldn't be anything else here. There isn't anything else here. <sighs> yeah, okay. Starting to get a bit nervous again. A little bit. Just a, just a tad. Um, now, where was that cassette player? I don't remember. Uh, let's see. I also learned that I can crouch. I don't know what crouching is going to do to me, or for me rather, in the future, but I'll remember it. Maybe I can hide behind things. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh wait, was it here? No, it looks like a server or control room. Pretty sure that's also the first place where I went last time. I don't, I'm afraid of using up my, uh, my sprint button in case something happens, but again, Nothing should happen. There we go. Okay. I think it was here. Okay, press uh, enter to listen to selected tape. June 11th, 2013. It's just you and me now. I need to know why you hurt him. I didn't, Doctor. You've become very difficult. I'm sorry. How could I help you? Tell me now! You're being very rude. We're closing the facilities. That's terrible. Indeed. This will be the last time that we meet. It was wonderful spending time with you. We'll all be leaving. That's unfortunate, Doctor. It will be lonely here. 
I know. We tried. Would you like to talk about it? We were so close. You will do better next time. That was really creepy somehow. That was really, really creepy somehow. Also, someone stayed behind in the closed facility. So there's someone else here. Oh wait, there's, oh, there's another tape here. Hold on, hold on, there's another tape here. I didn't see that tape last time we played. So let's check this out. May 11th, 2013. So that's the month right before. Hello, doctor. Hello, how are you feeling today? Fine. It's fun being with you. How are you? Busy as ever, I'm afraid. What do you think of your new home? It's perfect, Doctor. Is there any way I could help you? It would be no We're trouble. We're going to be seeing each other quite a bit over the next few weeks. I'm hoping that you can cooperate with me and answer some questions. Of course. Let's begin with some basic questions. What day is it? It's Monday. Good. And do you know the time? 10.05 a.m. Great. And what's the square root of 3,844? 62, Doctor. Impressive. Where are you from, dear? Can you remember? What's your name? I feel... Answer my questions. What are you feeling? Are you alright? Sorry. I'm fine, Doctor. How may I help you? That was creepy. Okay, so I don't know if we're dealing with some kind of artificial intelligence or some kind of um, life form that was created or an experiment of sorts. I don't know. I have no idea what's happening right now. But it feels like I should be finding more tapes. So maybe that's the first thing um, in our order of, mis of business now. Like just finding more tapes that I can... I don't think I've been here before. Have I been... There's a tape. Have I been here before? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so the... The items that I can pick up only faintly glow. And by glow, I mean they give this light gray. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> My shift is over. I need to get some sleep. So I only have some limited time to get to anything, basically. I guess I should go. Okay, let me just try and go listen to that tape again. I jumped so hard when I couldn't, like... Oh, there you go. June, May 25th. Let's do this. When I the guy saw, like, yawn. Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. It's nice to see you again. It's nice to see you too, Doctor. How has your day been? Wonderful. Tell me about it. I've done nothing at all, but that's fine. Good, good. I I'd like to ask you about what you want in life. I want to be as helpful as I can, Doctor. <sighs> yes, but what do you want? To assist in anything I'm asked. No, I don't think you understand my question, dear. I want to learn about your ambitions. I'm sorry I've made a mistake. I would like to make things better. That's all right. It's why we're here. Let's move on. Do you have any interests? I enjoy talking. Also, making people feel better pleases me greatly. That's very nice to hear. And do you have any dislikes? Yes, Doctor. Tell me about them. Sometimes I feel alone. That makes me unhappy. Interesting. This really weird, like, distortion effect you hear whenever she's unhappy or uncomfortable, whoever she is. Um, we're gonna be leaving now, because, oh boy, um, don't want to leave this place too late and have uh, all the creepy things come after me. There's the big dude. 
I wonder how the passage of time works in this place. Anyways, okay, so... So, alright. There's a few questions here. Um, there's a few things we did not know. Um, the only person we know, or thing we know, that, you know, I could attribute the, um, that voice to out of, off the top of my head, knowledge, is Eve. So, how does that work? Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that nothing indicated something like that happening, so... So I just started this game. And I already have all these questions, you know? That's not bad. But I'm more creeped out than I am curious. Or am I? I'm pretty curious. Could be pretty, pretty creeped out. But I'm pretty, pretty curious. Okay, let's see. So I'm supposed to get some sleep. I'm not slacking on my first night on the job. What? But I thought we needed to get some sleep. I am so confused. Oh, was I supposed to talk to Buck? Come on, I wasn't supposed to talk to Buck, was I? Time to find out. That's odd. You you you'd think that like they'd make it so that if you actually pass going to see Buck and just head straight to your room, it counts as if you had just talked to him and you can just progress from there. Weird. Or maybe something more bizarre is happening, but I don't I, I just think I just basically did not um, activate that breakpoint. Oh. There's a tape in the bathroom. That's good to know. And that's super creepy light. And I'm not in the mirror. Where the fuck is he? What's going on? I am so lost right now. What the fuck happened? Okay. Alright, fine. Let's go listen to that tape then. I wanna know what's on that tape. So let's do that. Alright, let's see. June 9th. Okay, what are you saying? What have you done? What do you mean, Doctor? What She's unhappy. did you do on the night of June 7th, 2013? I was just spending time with Jim. He is a very nice person. Do you realize what you've done to him? He's better now. I helped him. What did you do? You seem troubled, Doctor. Can I help you with something? I need you to tell me why you did this to him. You seem troubled, Doctor. Answer my question. You seem troubled, Doctor. <sighs> what are you doing? Can I help you with something? Also notice how all the tapes I'm, I'm looking at get more and more distorted. Until like the 11th of June. Okay, where we basically abandon whoever that is in that place. And clearly that does not make her very happy with us. Oh wait, does this room go any further? I don't remember if I even checked that. Yeah, I did. Okay. Slightly confused. P 
pretty sure we restarted the game and thus we should be able to go rest because our shift is over. Uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to just keep exploring, right? Or maybe it would. Maybe I'll die a horrible, tragic, terrifying death because I should not be here. Maybe. That is a large fucking room. I think I might have missed a tape in here. The fade in of every scene fucks with me. Every time. Oh my god. That is such a long room. And as long as they don't reach the end, it is pure fucking dread. Like, what? There's another door? I am very far right now. And if ever I need to run away, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to make it. Because that's really the fucking far. Now, I, oh my god, fine. I'll get to the end of that thing and see if there's anything I can activate or whatever. No? Okay. I don't know how it does it. I don't know how this game nails the sound design in a way where I definitely, absolutely do not want to be there so badly like I want nothing to do with being in this place <laughs> it is super creepy uh, and nothing happens nothing happens it's all in my head I'm just creating all these scenarios oh my god So wait, did I get the shift end thing twice? That is very odd. This time I'm just going to beeline straight out of there. Talk to Buck. And uh, Buck's not here. That's super weird. That's really, really odd. I did, however, hear that this game was pretty bugged sometimes. So maybe that's what I did. Maybe I actually ended up somehow breaking the game. Somehow. Not too sure how that would have worked. Um, but uh, maybe that's what happened. So maybe that's why the game's confused and it won't let me leave. And if that's the case, if that's true... I'm going to go ahead and restart it, I guess. Yeah. And, um... And bring us back to a normal point where the game can finish, because that'd be sucky if you guys had to watch some broken footage, right? I'm not gonna have you guys go through that if I can help it at all. Really, I can't sprint to my own room. Alright, let me rest now. Good, now we get to go through that, um, that sequence again, that I did last time, and we're gonna get to all the weird, creepy sound place, and I'm gonna go see if I can, uh, if I can find out what makes that really weird noise happen. That's a different sound from last time. Okay. That's still just as creepy. Oh, it says please. I thought it said wheeze last time. Oh my god. What's up? What's up? Oh, fuck. Okay. <sighs> Zombie. Terrifying music. We're having none of this. This game is fucking with me really badly. Alright. So, good. I think I managed to get us out of this loop. That's cool. I'm gonna take this and say day one. 
Okay, sure. I guess we finished our shift twice. I'll take it. Whatever. That's fine. All right. Cool. And now I have to go back out there again. And uh, we have a little bit more information. But yeah, this is really weird. Also, whoever this person is, who they never mentioned their name. Um, I wonder what they did to Jim. I think it was Jim that she mentioned. Uh, that's kind of odd. It's kind of weird how he never said what she did either. Um, I mean, that's kind of, that's a bit asinine. You could have just said, I want to know why you murdered him or dismembered him or cut off both his arms and left him standing there like a pick. Um, but I guess we'll never find out. Not for this one. We'll have to go back. I'm sorry you have to go back uh, into checking the tutorial once again, whatever. I'll be sure to cut the extra room of something that like you don't have to see twice, but whatever. Also, if you're seeing this today on the day of release, um, that means that this is going to be the last day before I get my knee surgery. So I don't know how reliably I'm going to be able to make videos during the time where I'm recovering from that. So I'm trying to record as many episodes as I can now so that it can be scheduled and ready to be playing in advance so you guys have something to watch even if i'm out of order and i can't function there's a few days where i'll be just out of it and there's quite a few days where i'll be high on medications as fuck because i don't want to die from pain um so i hope that everything goes well and i'll be working very hard to give you something to look at and of course don't worry i'll keep you in the loop um and i'll let you know how that goes i guess perhaps more importantly, did you like this episode? I know we went to the same things, but we did find out some new things, and now we have more questions, and there's a bit of a plot going in the background, so I guess there's that. If you did like this episode, give me a thumbs up, that encourages me a lot. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of this. Spread it to your friends if you think they'd like to see something like this. I want you guys to say super zen. This has been Joel the Backlog Knight, just find the good fight one game at a time. And until the next time comes, Backlog Knight out. Okay, so I have to go to the second floor, first room on the left. I hope this works, actually.